Welcome, I'm Dr. Mary Rose Mbanifo, your online facilitator for EDA 833, Monitoring and Evaluation in Educational Management. Today we're going to look at the topic school inspection. And on successful completion of this lesson, you should be able to acquire the competencies to the state, the reasons for school inspection, describe some techniques for conducting school inspection, highlight the professional qualities of an inspector, prepare an inspection guide for general school inspection, and write a standard inspection report. The concept of school inspection. Uh, inspection. Inspection is described as the critical examination and evaluation of a school as a place of learning so that necessary and relevant advice may be given for its improvement. School inspection is thus the constant, the constant and regular monitoring and assessment of teachers, equipment, buildings and others in the school system to ensure that they are of good standard in terms of their contribution to the achievement of educational goals. School inspection is consigned with specific, specific activities which are intended to maintain and improve the effectiveness of this teaching and learning by working directly with the teacher. Inspection aims at facilitating effective teaching and learning and evaluating the adequacy of all factors that contribute together to ensure meaningful delivery of the curriculum, qualified teachers, uh, suitable teaching material, learners and the teachers friendly environment. The reason why schools should be inspected, some of the purpose of inspection are to provide a basis for an effective dissemination, dissemination of concrete and constructive educational device and ideas designed to improve the quality of the teaching ability of the teacher and ultimately the education of the students to ensure that an acceptable minimum standard of teaching Mommy. and learning and learning takes in uh, takes place in the school to stimulate desirable educational practices and prevent undesirable ones from being carried out to ensure that regulations are complied with and that government financial investment in education is adequately and widely spent and accounted for. To ensure teachers and school heads take their job seriously. To ensure that facilities and materials for good quality and insufficient qualities are provided to school. To stimulate public interest in education, for example, through report and advice on the activities of the Parents Teachers Association. Summarily, school inspection is carried out in order to improve teaching and learning, ensure that the right knowledge and skills and attitude are imparted to learners and ensure uh, quality education in the society. Types of inspection a school may have depending on the aims. The following are the types of inspection used in the school system. Routine inspection. These are short uh, visits made to school in which no formal reports are written, but briefly com brief comments are made. Special uh, visits. This kind of inspection is limited to one or few aspects of, of the school. Investigation visit. For example, special uh, problem of discipline, uh, discipline, investigation of an alle uh, allegation of fraud. Follow-up visit, this is paid to school following a full inspection in order to see that com uh, recommendations made in an earlier inspection are carried out and implemented. Sampling and survey visit to find out the situation in a particular area of school subjects or head uh, functions. Visit for approval for opening. A new school is visited to find out whether they satisfy the condition necessary to obtain approval for opening. Assessing visit look for more look more into the activities of the school. Full inspection. This is done by a team of inspectors 
visiting a school for several days, using usually a week for a large class, a large school, or less for a smaller school, inquiring into every aspect of their work and examining their buildings and surroundings. Such visits is usually followed by a comprehensive report and can be at interval of three to five years. Others are subject inspection, adversary inspection, appraisal inspection, and administrative inspection. Activity Class Activity 1. Narrate the expectation from the inspector during a full inspection exercise. Narrate the expectation from the inspectors during a full inspection exercise. Duties and qualities of a school inspectors. The personal and professional characteristics of inspector of a school are personal qualities are helpful attitude, understanding, zeal, enthusiasm, patience, frankness, and um, honesty, reliability, good relationship with others. Professional qualifications are outstanding skill as a teacher, experience, willingness to go on, le go on learning, thorough knowledge of his job. Other duties of inspectors are subject specialist, uh, subject specialist, public relation officer, critic, critic, goal getter, planner, welfare and community development officer, selector, supplement, creator, guide, participator, quality assurance. Guideline for inspection. Inspection should be planned beforehand well ahead of the inspection day. The inspector should be prepared, read and take with him all the necessary inspection reports and collect further information on the, on the background of the school if he is not familiar with the school. Make note of the recommendation made in previous visits. Prepare a list of what to look for during the inspection. Try to find out the name of the school head on arrival. Uh, arrive early in time for assembly and see the school head on arrival. Check whether previous recommendations have been carried out and discuss further line of action if necessary. He should acquaint himself with names and qualifications of the teachers on arrival. Do not criticize teachers in front of students. Uh, on completion of the inspection, hold staff meeting if possible to discuss critique and recommendations. Give teachers and school head an opportunity to see you personally if they wish. See the school head before leaving the school. Write the inspection report as soon as possible when the impressions are still fresh in your memory. Follow up visit to carry out uh, uh, visit be carried out after three to six months. Activity two: Discuss the techniques for conducting school inspection in not more than 75 words. Discuss the techniques for conducting school inspection. Major problems of school inspection in some states. The problems may include the following lack of adequate trained inspector, inspectorial staff, shortage of staff, lack of funds to be able to go around the school in the states, lack of good motorable more good or motor, good motorable roads within the state, lack of vehicle to go around the schools. Writing inspection report. A good inspection report should have the following features. Irrespective of the type of inspection, the report must be comprehensive. The report must have proper title, name of the school and date of inspection. The introduction must state the purpose of the inspection. The report must be divided into sections with appropriate subhead titles. While it must be clearly understood, the report must be written in concise, simple English, free from ambiguity and jargons. The findings should be stated objectively so as to avoid dispute over the facts and figures stated. Reports should not be written in condemnatory tone, rather, false should be stated in form of recommendation. Concluding paragraphs should contain acknowledgement for the cooperation of the staff and the head of the school. The name and rank of the inspector should be indicated 
and the report duly signed. Activity 3. Discuss how you can use the inspection record to improve the teaching learning situation in your school. Discuss how you can use inspection report or record to improve the teaching learning situation in your school. Thank you for listening.